What was your particular branch of service? Uh, I was in the Marines. And what was the highest rank you achieved in the Marine Corps? I was, uh, I guess we we'll us say, uh, how many stripes did you have? How many stripes? Not many. I was just the uh, lieutenant. Not no, I wasn't even a lieutenant. They're right there. One What's that one up there? One stripe? One stripe. PFC? Yeah. Okay, and were you drafted or did you enlist? I enlisted. And where were you living at the time? Middletown. And do you recall the date that you enlisted? Oh gosh. Like no. it says I like I took it off your DD two fourteen. It looks like September twenty eighth, nineteen forty three. Sounds right. Okay. Yeah. And why did you join? Why did you join the service? I didn't like the Japanese. <laughs> All right. And uh, why did you pick the Marines? I wanted to be a tough guy. What did you heard about the Marines that uh, made it seem like the most attractive Movies. Of service? Movies. <laughs> did John Wayne get it right? <laughs> okay. And um, what were your first days like in the Marine Corps? Oh, you really want to hear? Did you go to Paris Island? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they were tough. Oh. Well, How did it feel? You know. Stay down. Oh, you can't put your hand down. Put my hand down. Yeah. Okay. How did it feel to go from civilian life to life in the Marine Corps? Tough. Can you describe some of the changes? Some of the new activities you had to Yeah, I mean, you had to you had to follow suit. Or you had to follow everything they said. Do it promptly and do it correctly. And well, that's about what, it. What was more demand? Was it more physically or mentally demanding? Both. Okay. Now, do you sure. remember? Do you remember any of your instructors? By name? Um, by name, or if uh, any events, any any. Situations that you remember from basic training. Well, we had we had, we had arguments and, and words, things they said that I didn't agree with, till I got used to the, what had to be done and do it right. Were they as tough as uh, you thought Marines would, would have been? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, tougher. So, what kind of things did they teach you in basic training? How to stay alive. In what way, huh? Just to be very careful in, in what you did and how you did it. And just try to try to just be as careful about things doing things as you could. So joining up in nineteen forty three had any of your drill instructors, any of your training instructors already seen combat? Oh yeah, they had seen combat, yeah. So, um, how did you get through it? You know, what what did you do to successfully make it through basic training? Prayed a lot. <laughs> and I noticed on your DD two fourteen, I noticed on your DD two fourteen, uh, you have a sharpshooter's badge. You must have been a pretty good shot. Yeah, I was pretty good with a rifle. Do you recall the weapons that you qualified on? Rifle, mostly. That's all they let us shoot. No pistol, no carbine. No, not not for what I did. And um, after boot camp, after Paris Island, where were you sent? Uh, we went to Iwo Jima. Or how about right after boot camp? Did you uh, did you go to Camp Lejeune? Where did you do your advanced infantry training? We did go to Camp Lejeune, but only for a short time. And how was Camp Lejeune different from Paris Island? Oh, it was much different. It was, it was, it was childish in Paris Island. When you got over there, you were a man. You could have acted that way. So, what new things did you learn at Camp Lejeune? Oh, just how to be a Marine. How else can I say it? Now, where were you when you were designated as? Uh, uh, when you were given a specific military occupational specialty, what? How did the Marines 
choose what you're going to do for them. You just fit right into the picture when when a, a situation appeared that you were qualified for, you fitted right in. So what were your qualifications? What job did they pick for you? I was, uh, <clears throat> I, I, let's say I was, I had a couple, I had about four jobs I did. One was, I was, I was rifleman, of course. Okay. And, uh, oh, God, it's been a while. I, they bounced me all over the place. So whatever they needed at the time, I I became. Now, I noticed on your DD-214, you were a lineman? A lineman, yeah. What was that like? Getting up on the line when they needed you and shooting. Now, how about, did you work with any communications equipment at all? Yeah, I did. That was that was real good. I had some real good friends in in communications. So, um, what was that job like? What what what? We we ran wire, telephone wire. And uh, so, no radios. It was all just wire. Yeah, that's how we communicated. Where and I know what that from from the camp or from where the fellows were stationed to people that were out in, out in the front. So that must have been, that must have been pretty dangerous. Oh, it sure was. So would you have to keep up with the front line? Yeah. You had to do a lot of running. <laughs> so when they call it running wire, it's running literally wire. running wire. <laughs> hey, they named it right. <laughs> so now you said... First of like first and foremost, you were a rifleman, and from yes. what I've heard about the Marine Corps, no matter what your MOS, you can always fall back and have that those same skills demanded of a rifleman. Is that true? Yeah. And uh, the rumor is also that the Marines are the best shots. Is that also true? They make sure you are. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're dead if you're not. What was rifle training like in the Marine Corps? Oh boy. They made sure you knew what you were doing, let me tell you. They were pretty accurate. Did you train on the Springfield or the M1? M1. So, what were your first impressions of uh, after Camp Lejeune, after Paris Island? What were your first impressions of the Marine Corps? What was it like being in uniform? It was a combination. I, I, I times I loved them and at times I hated them. Depending on what they were doing to me. So when you loved them, what did you love about being in the service? Oh, I just I just felt like I was something special. I was a marine. And when you hated them. When I hated them, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be home in Middletown. <laughs> I mean, it says a lot about you to volunteer for service during wartime. Well, thank you. And uh, what was your first duty assignment? Where did you go from Camp Lejeune? I know you. there's some photographs of you at Ma or an illustration you made in Maui. Maui is where I was, I was stationed in Maui. Was that the 4th Marine Division staging area? Yeah. Room? It was one of, their, one of their stations. So what was it like in Maui? Did you have barracks? Did you have tents? Yeah. yeah it, was, it was a regular, like a military base where you... Had same as the army had. And did training stop after Camp Lejeune, or did oh you no, you training? never stop training in the Marines. <laughs> They'll always find something for you to do, boy. One day harder than the next. So, what were your duties like in uh, Maui? Well, they were training us, training us for what we were supposed to do when we got out there in the field. So what does it require? What do you have to know how to do to run wire from a forward position back to a headquarters? Just get the wire to where it belongs and make sure it gets there. So what was a typical day like for you? A typical day? Like from, from the moment that you woke up to the moment you went to bed. And you start, you start hoping that things go well, then you don't get killed. 
that's about it, as well as I can put it. And uh, I know you said you were frequently at the front line. Did you see combat? Oh, yes, from all angles. And were there any casualties in your unit? Oh, yeah. Did I see casualties? All over the place. So, um, on what islands? I know the Marines had quite a few deployments throughout the Pacific, hopping mm -hmm. from island to island. Which ones did you see combat on? Iwo. Oh boy, let's see. Well, you know, that slips my mind and that is unbelievable. And there's, uh, what was it, what they say about the 4th Marine Division is that you were one of the most deployed? Yes, we were. We were a pretty good division. And looking at your DD-214, you were also at Saipan and Tinian. Saipan and Tinian. Now, what was, on what island did you experience the most combat? He will. So what was your first deployment like? Which, which one of those did you go to first? Would that have been Saipan? Saipan. Um, so never having experienced combat before? Not before Saipan, no. What was that like for you? Well, it was a little bit, a little scary. One can imagine. <laughs> I guess it was. Did you have, I mean, did you feel confident in your training? Did you feel? Oh, I did that. I knew what I had to do. I mean, they, they do give you good training, no doubt. And were you there for the initial landing, or did you yeah. come later? No. Initial landing. And, and, you, and you just follow suit. For, try to follow what they told you to tell you to do. And I, that's the best you can do. Did you have good NCOs? Oh, yeah. They were very intelligent boys. And... Now... I remember you said off camera that you had been wounded. What injuries did you sustain? You know, I can't recall which ones. A lot of them were just not not really serious scratches and scrapes and stuff. So I, I, I hardly anything serious. Now you said something happened to your hand. To my hand? Yes. Well, I don't recall that one. <laughs> I thought you said something about how you dropped a cable reel or you dropped a box on your hand. No, I don't recall that one. Did I mention that to you ever? I dropped a box on my hand? Something about your finger. You sure that wasn't when I got home? I don't recall that. I think I did that playing ball more than I did. I really do. Well, if anything comes to mind, feel free to bring it up. Okay, I will. Okay, now, while you were overseas, how did you stay in touch with your family? Letters. And were you married at the time? No. And uh, did you have any brothers or sisters in the service? Yes. Do you, uh, what branch of the service? Did you have an ad? Was anybody serving in the same area as you? No. Paulie was in the Army. Mike was in the Army. And were they in the Pacific or Europe? No, they were in Europe. And so now the big question. What was food like in the Marine Corps? <laughs> Not as good as it was home. I thought the rumor was that the Navy served the best food. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It really, really wasn't bad. Now, did you eat a lot of C and K rations? Yeah. Did yeah. You? We ate what they gave us. It wasn't did, too bad. Did you have a particularly favorite meal? If I was hungry, whatever they gave me was <laughs> really good. And uh, did you feel like you were well supplied? Yes, did always. You, I, yeah. I, I was very, I was very... I was very happy with the Marines. I thought they took very good care of us under the conditions. Did you have enough ammunition? Did you have no, always, food? always. That they did take care of. And um, when you felt pressured or stressed, how did you handle it? <sighs> Throw things against the wall, <laughs> do whatever. 
You just have to get it out of your system like you would here. Bang your feet against the floor, whatever. And then, um, was there anything special you did for good luck when you were in those situations? Did you pray? Did you have oh, God, yes. That I did a lot of. Please, Lord, let this, let this end soon. So speaking of which, what were your feelings on uh, VJ Day when it was all over? Oh, God. Hallelujah. We're going home. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go get drunk first. <laughs> How did people, speaking of which, how did people entertain themselves while they were in the service? How did we entertain ourselves? Depending on where we were. We were whether it was, whether it was uh, women or anything, we could try to go to dance or have dinner or something, which was very seldom, very rare. So this would be on when you came back to Maui? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was it like uh, being in Hawaii during the war? I know there's still a huge military presence there. But what was it I know. like? It wasn't bad. Maui was, Maui was really good. Did you guys get any kind of R&R? &R? Were you able to you know, take breaks, go into town, go swimming? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they handled us pretty well there. And how about when you were in the field? How did you entertain yourself? How did you break the tension? Oh, we well, did the craziest things. <laughs> Just anything to, anything to make you feel better. <laughs> Some of them were so nuts it was crazy. I mean, what do you tell you? Do you have any yeah. stories you can share with us? Oh. <laughs> Not at this time. No. Maybe, have, yeah. We have a couple of bottles of beer, maybe. <laughs> yeah. When the camera's <laughs> off, Dave. <laughs> when the camera's shut. And now, uh, did you ever get, did any, on any kind of R&R, &R, in between deployments, were there ever any entertainers or USO shows that you were able to, to witness? No, that's one thing we never did have too much of. No, we didn't. We had, a couple of times, we just had fellows from the Marines that, Entertained us, or were singing, or something like that. But the that was band or... Yeah, but that was about it. Now, uh, were you ever able to go on any leave or take any leave? No. It was just one deployment after yeah. another. Yeah. So they got their minds worth out of you. Oh, they sure did. And uh, now you mentioned this before. Do you recall any particularly humorous? or unusual events that occurred while you were in the service? Any particular events that, were, particular that, were, that were funny? Yes. While I was in there? Oh, in there. yeah, we had a lot of those, too. <laughs> We'd kid each other. You know, it was, you did it to, 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 to keep a, a happy. Yeah, we would kid with one another. So do you recall any of those practical jokes? Or, yeah, uh, I right. call them practical jokes. Do you remember any of them? Oh, God. It's so long now. It's mm -hmm. hard. We'll keep going. Now, if, I come, if I think of them, I'll tell you. Now, uh, what did you think of your officers and the Marines that you served with? Great. Great guys. So uh, do you recall any of your NCOs, any of your officers? Do I recall them? Uh, by name or any stories about them? Oh, just that they were real good guys. I mean, really, really good guys. You follow them anywhere. <laughs> I yeah. don't recall them by name. So? Because we hung around mostly with our guys at our level. Right, right. See? So, so we, we, the only time we... Had contact with the lieutenants while we were fighting. Mm 